In order to understand the celestial mechanics of total solar eclipses, it really helps to make a three-dimensional model of the Earth, the Moon, and the Sun. So once a year, the Earth is going to move around this orbit. The yellow string represents the plane of the Earth's orbit around the Sun, the plane of the ecliptic. The hula hoop represents the plane of the Moon's orbit around the Earth. If they were in the same plane, then once a month, the Moon would move on the line between the Earth and the Sun, and there would be a total solar eclipse every month. However, the Moon's orbit is tilted by 5 degrees, so that as the Moon orbits, it can pass way above the plane of the Earth's orbit around the Sun. And that means the shadow of the Moon misses the Earth. So most of the time, there is not a total solar eclipse. We've moved around three months, a quarter of the way around the Earth's orbit. The Moon's orbit is still tilted, but at exactly the same angle as before. The Moon's orbit acts like a gyroscope as the Earth moves around the Sun. Now, as the Moon comes around, it crosses the plane of the Earth's orbit. It gets between the Earth and the Sun, and now it can cast a shadow on the Earth and make an eclipse. So at this season of the year, you can have a total solar eclipse. And then again, on the other side of the orbit, six months later, you can also have a total solar eclipse. <laughs>